Welcome to the next video everybody. In this video, I'm going to look at adjusting the dummies to match our car. Make sure the dummies fit the shape of our cars. So the dummies, dummies are just basic shape that represents the car in the game. So if it hits an object, it interacts with other objects. Without dummies, your car will just fall into the ground and uh, it won't drive on the road. So that's what we're doing as well. We also um, adjust the dummies for the wheels as well. So our wheels, this car is is um, a bit wider, a bit longer. So uh, we need to move the wheels so it works. But uh, the first thing we're going to do, I'll show you how to flip normals as well. This wheel, the, the surface is flipped inside out. You go to modify, click flip, and highlight your shape. Click on it, it will flip it, and it doesn't show inside out. And just check with the other ones as well. Make sure that works on the level one. Okay, let's go ahead and work with the uh, the the dummies. Click this one to hide everything. We're just gonna start with the chassis. The chassis uh, collision is on the bottom of the car, and turn on level zero as well. So right now at this stage we we need to adjust the shape to match our car. Turn on the four view um the four views. Now let's go click on the vertex level and go into um, click on move and go to select we want to go on quad click on quad that will let us edit the each point and also press selected mode so we can select more than one vertices but yeah this shape i actually done some of this already but um, i'm just going to do some more so if you hold right click the right mouse button the button on the right side you can select to deselect you press control and and um and draw a box so to draw a box just hold the right button and drag a box and deselect hold control so i'm gonna draw a box and move these two points to the right and beware don't make your car too low to the ground it's it's gonna be it will be really challenging later on when you drive it just hits everything you can't go, go over the bumpers but um, i'm gonna scale the car a bit up so you can move rotate and scale so i'll scale on the y direction only and and uh, just drag click on the shape and drag so I'll make this more flat and go back to move and move up. So um, keep the bottom of your car just about the middle of the tire because it's a lot more easier and fun to drive when when it doesn't crash into everything on the ground. So just move that to about there and draw a box around to deselect everything and just I'm gonna fix these shapes. Make sure you have the right axis on. So check all the control points. Yeah, and be where you need to select the other parts when you adjust, when you finish. So, so go ahead and match the shape of your car. Yep. and check the top view as well make sure that the line with the shape of the car so hold uh, hold ALT and click on the perspective view so you can see in perspective and see how it looks okay I'll just w make one final adjustment and I'm going to move on to the next part raise this bit 
a bit higher. Okay, we're done with that part. So untick that. Okay, we're done with the collision for that part. We're gonna work with the bonnet. So just zoom out and uh, make sure you tick chatty as well. Hide the chassis and now we're gonna work with the bonnets. So make sure these are ticked and show the bonnet. So we're gonna fix the bonnet now. The bonnet's shape is a lot different. So just go in and fix that. I'll try to do this quickly. So make sure COD is on and modify. We work, we're gonna move, make sure the point is on and selection mode is on so we can select many of the points. And I'm gonna scale, you can scale your work. I'll scale in the X direction. and in the Y slightly and just move this down and just go in fix so just do this for all, all the parts for your car uh, you have more time to work with this so uh, yeah just take time doing this It's also important to make your dummies um, don't clash with other dummies too much. It could cause issue with shaking. The, your car can shake because your dummies are not good. It's going everywhere. It doesn't match the shape. And also it could be the axis as well. If your axis are not right, it won't. Um, it will cause your car to shake when you drive on different surfaces okay so that's the bonnet we're nearly done with that and just try your best to match them and that's fine so let's have a look over here okay I'm gonna go ahead and do one more part and you can do the rest yourself so I'll do the boot switch on level 1 to show show the guide show you as a guide where it is okay so make sure you select quad you want to move we want to go on the vertex level and selection mode is on and we'll move everything over here have a look on the other views see how it looks Press this button to center the part. And okay, this one's different. Okay, so just flatten the shape out. Bring this to the end. Let's try scale only some points, see if I can do that. Yep, it works. You can scale only to some points. Scale in the X direction. Okay, that's fine. And move. Yep, just remember to deselect by hold, holding control and just move it something like that. 
Uh, that should be good enough. Okay, that's done. And yeah, let's show everything. So you need to go ahead and do that to uh, to the bumpers. So all the parts with the dummies, the parts with the dummies are all the car physical parts, including the doors, wind windscreens, the tires. Oh yeah, or um. Okay, I need to move the tires to match. Okay, we need to fix the tires as well before I go because tires are really important and they need to match well. So go ahead and ha um, show all your wheels and also the chassis as well. And we just need to drag the wheel into the middle of the, the wheel well and the measure in there all right okay just the wheels all right so we need to do that make sure you have cord on and we want to move and selection mode on to select multiple things we can leave it on um, full mesh so drag box around it and um, it will select anything that the whole selection is around it won't select the car because the selection is not around the whole car so it will select any other parts that's in and it will turn blue like that and we just want to move in the x direction so be careful don't turn on y because um yeah it's it's very important for the car the for the stability of the car to have the wheels line up well um it's not really important but just for performance uh, just make sure the wheels are aligned well and they line up okay that's it there you go and turn on your mesh and that looks fine so show everything now you okay we need to move the wheel Okay, we have a problem there. The back wheel didn't move, so we gotta fix that. So if you go Control Z, and it will move back where it was. Uh, I think I didn't show the back mesh, so it didn't work. So make sure you show the all all, your, all the parts, both wheels. So let's let's quickly do that again. Okay, I went ahead and quickly finished that. So both of your wheels should be good. Check it with the perspective and we gotta do one more thing. We gotta move the wheel on the top view. And then we'll be done. So make sure mesh mode is selected. Deselect everything just in case. Now go in, select the wheel. Okay, now so we need to make the wheel wider, move it to to the left and right furthermore. So go on to one of these modes, turn on move, put on quad and selection mode on. Draw a box around it and make sure it turns blue and then we're ready to move to the right. Um, so make sure you highlight it and then move it to the right and check with the top view to to um, to see where you want to put it yeah, you can see it barely but uh, you gotta just do that so it looks fine and so go ahead and move the Unselect the these wheels and select these wheel and move it to just a, about the right place and that's it. Show all the parts and make sure you turn the move off so you don't want to move something um, that you don't want to. So go ahead and fix the colli um, collision for the wheels 
and be aware for the bump is keep the the collision model a bit higher so it doesn't hit the all the bumpers so um, just more lets you drive a lot easier in the game but that's it for t for this episode um, in the next one I'm going to talk about yeah we need to talk about resetting the local axis and put some paintwork on the car but um, just uh, follow the link subscribe to the channel to see more videos that's it for today see you guys